Ezra, Revi, E, for Ezra, for. And the angel that was sent unto me, whose name was Uriel, gave me an answer and said, Your heart has gone too far in this world, and think you to comprehend the way of El Elyon. Then said I, Yea, my lord. And he answered me and said, I am sent to show you three ways, and to set forth three similitudes before you, whereof if you can declare me one, I will show you also the way that you desire to see. And I shall show you from whence the wicked heart comes. And I said, Tell on, my lord. Then said he unto me, Go your way, weigh me the weight of the fire, or measure me the blast of the wind, or call me again the day that is past. Then answered I and said, What man is able to do that, that you should ask such things of me? And he said unto me, If I should ask you how great dwellings are in the midst of the sea, or how many springs are in the beginning of the deep, or how many springs are above the firmament, or which are the outgoings of paradise? Perchance you would say unto me, I never went down into the deep, nor as yet into Sheol, neither did I ever climb up into heaven. Nevertheless, now have I asked you but only of the fire and wind, and of the day wherethrough you have passed, and of things from which you cannot be separated, and yet can you give me no answer of them. He said moreover unto me, Your own things, and such as are grown up with you, can you not know. How should your vessel then be able to comprehend the way of El Elyan? And the world being now outwardly corrupted to understand the corruption that is evident in my sight. Then said I unto him, It were better that we were not at all than that we should live still in wickedness and to suffer and not to know wherefore. He answered me and said, I went into a forest, into a plain, and the trees took counsel, and said, Come, let us go and make war against the sea, that it may depart away from us, rather away before us, and that we may make us more woods. The floods of the sea also in like manner took counsel and said, Come, let us go up and subdue the woods of the plain, that there also we may make us another country. The thought of the wood was in vain, for the fire came and consumed it. The thought of the floods of the sea came likewise to naught, for the sand stood up and stopped them. If you were judge now betwixt these two, whom would you begin to justify, or whom would you condemn? I answered and said, Truly it is a foolish thought that they both have devised, for the ground is given unto the wood, and the sea also has his place to bear his floods. Then answered he me and said, You have given a right judgment, but why judge you not yourself also? For like as the ground is given unto the wood, and the sea to his floods, even so they that dwell upon the earth may understand nothing but that which is upon the earth and he that dwells above the heavens may only understand the things that are above, rather that are above the height of the heavens. Then answered I and said, I beseech you, O Yahuwah, let me have understanding. For it was not my mind to be curious of the high things, but of such as pass by us daily, namely, wherefore Yasha de El is given up as a reproach to the heathen, and for what cause the people whom you have loved is given over unto wicked nations, and why the Torah of our forefathers is brought to naught, and the written covenants come to no effect, and we pass away out of the world as grasshoppers, and our life is astonished and fear, and we are not worthy to obtain mercy. What will he then do unto his name whereby we are called? Of these things have I asked. Then answered he me and said, The more you search, the more you shall marvel, for the world hastens fast to pass away. 
and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. But as concerning the things whereof you ask me, I will tell you, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. For the grain of evil seed has been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning. And how much wickedness has it brought up unto this time? And how much shall it yet bring forth until the time of threshing come? Ponder now by yourself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed has brought forth. And when the years shall be cut down, which are without number, how great a floor shall they fill? And then I answered and said, How and when shall these things come to pass? Wherefore are our years few and evil? And he answered me, saying, Do not you hasten above El Elyon, for your haste is in vain to be above him, for you have much exceeded. Did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things in their chambers, saying, How long shall I hope on this fashion? When comes the fruit of the floor of our reward? And unto these things Uriel the archangel gave them answer and said, Even when the number of seeds is filled in you, for he has weighed the world in the balance. By measure has he measured the times, and by number has he numbered the times, and he does not move nor stir them until the said measure be, fi be fulfilled. Then answered I and said, O Yahweh Adonai, even we all are full of impiety, and for our sakes perchance it is that the floors of the righteous are not filled because of the sins of them that dwell upon the earth. So he answered me and said, Go your way to a woman with child, and ask of her when she has fulfilled her nine months, if her womb may keep the birth any longer within her. Then said I, No, Adonai, that can she not. And he said unto me, In Sheol, the chambers of souls are like the womb of a woman, for like as a woman that travails makes haste to escape the necessity of the travail, even so do these places hasten to deliver those things that are committed unto them. From the beginning, look, what you desire to see, it shall be showed you. Then answered I and said, If I have found favor in your sight, and if it be possible, and if I be met therefore, rather, and if I be meet therefore, Show me then whether there be more to come than is past, or more past than is to come. What is past I know, but what is for to come I know not. And he said unto me, Stand up upon the right side, and I shall expound the similitude unto you. So I stood and saw, and behold, a hot burning oven passed before me. And it happened that when the flame was gone by, I looked, and behold, the smoke remained still. After this there passed by before me a watery cloud, and sent down much rain with the storm. And when the stormy rain was past, the drops remained still. Then said he unto me, Consider with yourself, as the rain is more than the drops, and as the fire is greater than the smoke but the drops and the smoke remain behind. So the quantity which, rather, quantity which is past did more succeed, rather, did more exceed. And then I prayed and said, May I live, do you think, until that time? Or what shall happen in those days? He answered me and said, As for the tokens whereof you ask me, I may tell you of them in part, but as touching your life, I am not sent to show you, for I do not know.